shells from foreign shores. When we hear about it, there is no question, no thought of right or wrong or of consequences. All the mystery, the scariness of doing something that at heart we know is forbidden. Sneaking through a broken fence into an overgrown backyard behind some shrubs that line the old house's southwest wall. Crawling through a broken, then subsequently opened basement window. The old woman died some years ago. The house stood empty till now, undisturbed. That open window saw many others coming and going before we two brothers crept around inside those dark, dank rooms. In a storeroom taken from a shelf already open, spilled out on the floor, exotic seashells, touchstones to far tropic shores. We filled our pockets, came back again with bags that held much more, all we found in other boxes. Home, in secret, we would take out our treasures, marveling at the beauty of each shell. So young, we did not think beyond keeping our new loot from parents' eyes. It was inevitable we would fall like dominoes. Finally, someone was caught, which led to all the rest of us, the arrest of all of us, but not really, just a trip downtown, a serious talk, a case of reparations, restitutions, parents left to decide the necessary discipline, grounded, loss of privileges for an ample stretch of time in the penalty box, but with a taste of the rush, hearts beating faster, left behind for now with pledged vows of nevermore, left behind for now but not so easily forgotten. When we first learned to kill, my first remembered moment, but not the first time, is walking all around in every room, looking for my prey, checking walls with cursory glances, gazing more intently at the windows, knowing from past outings where most stalled in flight, my right fist and chubby fingers wielding awkwardly at first, but more gracefully with each foray, a lethal instrument for swatting flies. I swatted flies before I learned to count, but I could grasp a lot and a big lot, and there were times that I did both. Hot, humid summers were the best. A growing child at play with a world of mischief, collateral damage really of one who knew no better, simply exploring in amazement and flexing newly developing talents day and night if not drafted, briefly trained, issued a weapon, and sent out on patrol, this young menace surely would have been his mother's constant worry. Flies are bad, they spread disease, they can make us sick, and so, young, grim, and menacing, I stalked our open rooms, closed bed and bathroom doors of rooms I had well searched, securing all the house in time, but most of all, I guarded our big kitchen. No nasty flies on mom's cookies, cakes, and pies. Flying down. Perhaps I started slowly, but that I don't remember. I remember flying, flying down. Church camp in the mountains every summer. We were too young to even consider a future where we would all move on to other summers, leaving camp behind. Kids would arrive, stay a week or two, then go home again till next summer. But we, my family, well, Dad was the director, and so we stayed till camp ended, and that was how I learned to fly, fly down. 
The campgrounds were on fairly level ground, a field. At the forest's edge, a steep and rocky path descended down in twists and turns among the trees a quarter mile to the lake below where all the campers would swim each afternoon. On hottest days, sometimes a morning dip as well. But there were times up at the campgrounds that I would steal away, descending down to fish the lake shore with my coiled up line and hook and dough balls made from bread pocketed at lunchtime, catching on occasion a few small chubs. The descent became in time a game unto itself. To see how fast I could race down, not a thought to dire consequences should I stumble, trip, or fall. Arms akimbo, eyes on the path, where to plant one foot just lifted while the other landed, banking off a root or rock to make each turn on down the twisting path. I only had to guide my feet. Gravity did the rest. Free falling cue ball, caroming off the cushions. Down I flew, settled into a two step cadence, pushing off enough for feet to glide just above the path between footfalls. With all the exuberance of immortal youth, sure footed and sure I would not fall, arms out I flew, flying down. <laughs>